Hi there, I'm Ben Mankiewicz. Thanks for joining us on TCM as we continue with tonight's 31 Days of Oscar lineup of Academy Award winners for Best Cinematography. Up next, a Technicolor classic shot by W. Howard Green and Hal Moore. From Universal in 1943, Claude Rain stars in Phantom of the Opera. This was Universal's second adaptation of Gaston LaRue's book about a disfigured and disturbed man obsessed with a beautiful singer at the Paris Opera House. Universal's first take came 18 years earlier, the 1925 silent horror classic The Phantom of the Opera, which includes the word the at the beginning of the name. That earlier production remains the definitive screen version, largely due to the magnificent and memorable performance of its leading man, Lon Chaney, as the title character. This second big screen adaptation, with Reigns as the Phantom, earned four Academy Award nominations, winning two for its color art direction and color cinematography by W. Howard Green and Hal Moore. Green has long been recognized as a pioneer in his field, particularly his work with Technicolor. He began his career during the 1920s, years before the Motion Picture Academy created a category for cinematography. In 1937, Green and Harold Rawson became the first recipients of an honorary Academy Award for color cinematography for the Garden of Allah. The following year, the Academy awarded Green a second honorary Oscar for the first version of A Star is Born. Once the Academy established an official award for Technicolor cinematography in 1940, Green earned seven Oscar nominations. His sole win came for the picture you're about to see from director Arthur Lubin in 1943, with makeup by Jack Pierce, the artist most responsible for Universal's monster makeup of the 1930s and 40s, also with Nelson Eddy and Susanna Foster, Phantom of the Opera. According to one critic, a better title for this 1943 remake of the Phantom of the Opera might have been the Opera of the Opera. That's because one of the reasons for making the film was to showcase the vocal talents of its stars, Nelson Eddy, and Susanna Foster. We know this to be the case just by looking at the film's credits. Eddie and Foster have their names above Claude Rains, billed third, and Rains played the actual Phantom of the Opera. This music-heavy production was arguably the first step in transforming French writer Gaston LaRue's gothic horror story into the romantic melodramatic spectacle it is now thanks to Andrew Lloyd Webber's wildly successful Broadway musical. That production premiered in London in 1986 on Broadway in 1988. Ahead tonight, another horror-tinged classic featuring Oscar-winning cinematography, the picture of Dorian Gray, starring George Sanders, Herd Hatfield, Donna Reed, and Angela Lansbury in an Oscar-nominated performance is next on Turner Classic Movies. Next on TCM, the picture of Dorian Gray, then cries and whispers, and later, captains of the clouds. Fly the TCM skies tonight.